Today we're gonna make some magic using primary colors. When we get our paint today, we're gonna very, very carefully hold on to the bottom so that we can lift the lid off of the paint without breaking the plastic lid or losing it or spilling the paint. Then we're gonna put all of our paint in the middle of our table where all of our friends can reach them. Now to start painting, I like to take a pencil and I draw a line at the top of my potion bottles. That way I know how high my potion is gonna go. So I'm gonna paint all the way up to this line. So I put it up pretty high because I want a lot of space where I can do my color mixing. Now, I'm gonna start with a nice clean brush. So I'm gonna clean my brush just to make sure that it is got no other colors in it. And then I'm going to dry it off. And I'm going to start by making green. Now I know that to make green, I need yellow and blue. And it's always a good idea to start with the lighter color first. So yellow is very light. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the yellow and I'm going to paint inside my jar. And if I start to run out of paint, I can go and get one more dip. Just dipping the bristles in. I'm not getting paint up on the handle of my brush. And I'm painting gently. I don't want to give my brush a bad hair day. I'm just gonna keep going until that is all filled in. Now, when I'm ready to change colors, I cannot just put my dirty brush into a new color. I have to clean it off. So I'm gonna brush it on the bottom of the water bowl so that it knocks all the paint off. And then instead of tapping my brush on the side, I'm going to wipe it because tapping it makes splatters that could also make a mess. Then dry off your brush really well on the towel. Never forget to dry your brush. We don't wanna get yucky water in our paint. Now, since I only need a little bit of my darker color, I'm gonna start with just one dip of blue and I'm gonna mix that into my yellow paint while it's still wet. Oh, and I already see some green happening. I'm using some fun swirly lines in my potion to make it look even more magical. Awesome. Now I'm gonna clean my brush and start another color. Clean it in the water, wipe it off and then dry it off really, really good. I'm even gonna dry it off twice, or clean it twice, so that it's extra clean. All right, now I'm going to mix yellow and red. I know that when I mix these two colors, I should get orange. So once again, yellow is the lightest color, so I'm gonna dip my brush and paint my next jar. Now I have already dried and cleaned my brush really, really well, so I'm ready to get my second color. And I'm going to add one scoop of red to my yellow. And I'm gonna use some fun brush strokes. And I'm starting to see an orangey color happening. Awesome, now I have my orange potion. There's one more potion color that I need to make out of my secondary colors, and that is violet. So I'm cleaning my brush one more time, and I'm gonna have to mix together blue and red. Now, both of these colors are pretty dark, but I think the red is maybe just a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna start with this color with my fresh, clean brush. Now it's time to add some blue. So I'm gonna get a scoop mix it in. I see some violet. Awesome. One last little step that we can do today is we're going to paint the top part of our glass jars black. So I'm just going to put a little puddle of plain water onto my black paint, give it just a little tickle, and then I can just paint that right on, just like so. That way, it will look like our jars are in a spooky laboratory. 
that I have all of my jars painted, I can leave my project to dry.